I am about to show you how to track and delete your leaked media from the internet. I'm sorry, are you for real? Privacy is a commodity, and unfortunately, leaks of personal media have become a serious concern. We live in a world where our most private moments can be at risk, and the consequences can be severe. It's true, that's very true. I hope by watching this video to the end, we get one step closer to stopping this cruel acts of media leaking. Oh, finally. Someone competent. In the next few minutes, I am going to show you how easy it is to track your images online and make sure the tools are readily available on your computer system. What did you just say? So that tracking your images do not have to come at any cost whatsoever. Shut the front door. A lot of information can be found in the description below. And as always, I am a comment or email away if you need my help in the setup. So, if you're ready to take control of your digital narrative, hit that subscribe button. That's a perfect idea, I will. It really means a lot. Now enough talk, our leaked media needs to be tracked. All right, let's track some leaked media, shall we? So this is the source code of the project. I will talk more about this later. And this is a very nice website I built in order to show you the source code and make it easier for you to track your leaked media on the internet. I realize that not only programmers will click on this video, but non-programmers as well. So instead of using the terminal, I decided to build a website so if you do not have a programming background, you can still benefit. Onto our first tracking, now your leaked media is now out there on the internet, in the web page of a website somewhere. So if I, Creed, have a media which has been leaked, the first thing to do is to search the internet for any mention of my name, right? And so that is what we will start with. So this interface will help us do that. In this video, we will be using TMZ.com as an example. We will assume this is where our leaked photo is. So all we have to do here is enter the URL of the website. In our case, we will use TMZ.com. You can use any website URL you want. And we want to search for Taylor. We click search web and let the code do it thing. So right now, the code I wrote is searching for any mention of Taylor on the URL we provided. And there we go, we get feedback that operation was a success and a result was found. Which means that there is a likelihood that our leaked media is on that website. But this has limitations, first of all, it's slow. If I have a leaked media out there, I kinda want a more faster way to get it out of the internet. So let's turn it up a notch and take a more efficient route. So let's come to search with multiple URLs. This time we get the chance to enter multiple URLs increasing the speed of searching for our leaked media. We will add people.com as another URL example. So we type tmz.com and people.com and search with our name. Press search and we get this green spinning indicator, meaning we are underway searching on multiple URLs now. And there we go. So on tmz.com, there is a mention of our name and on people.com as well. With status of true meaning, leaked found and false meaning no leaks we could try another one and see let's do this with ariana it loads we get a status of false on both urls we could change the url with history.com history talks about history so it would be weird to see your name there i am just trying to show you the accuracy of the program i wrote so we should definitely get a false on history.com Let's search Biber this time. It loads. And there we go. Concept proven. False on history.com. You can add as many URLs you want, and this program I created will do the job for you. As you can see here, we get false in all these URLs indicating no leaks found. By the way, there is also a scenario where you are like me and don't really know how social media and the likes works. You do not know what URLs to search for to track your leaked media. Even if it's January, Christmas came early. I got you. I hope that was a good joke. No, it is not. In the description below, you will find a link to a Google Drive containing hundreds of URLs you can search through. Let's continue from where we left off. But even though we are able to search for multiple URLs, it still is pretty inefficient and has limitations. I mean, I may be a celebrity and my name being on a website is a normal thing. So let's turn up the heat and search for images instead. So when you click search with images, you get this interface here 
where you can search the internet for your leaked images. So like before, you enter the URL you want to search. We will still go with TMZ.com as an example here. And when we press Search Images, it begins the process of searching the images on the internet based on the URL we provided. And there we go, 95 images found, and now we can scroll through to see if our leaked image is in any of the 95. So we have come far from just searching our names to finding images. But again, for me, this is not efficient. 95 images, that is a lot of images to go through. We are competing against time here, and we need a quicker way. Don't worry, I got you. So when you go to search with images 2 here, you get this interface. And this is a very complete way of doing things. So again, you enter the URL, sounding like a broken record, but we will use tmz.com. And then we need the path to our leaked media. As it is leaked, we have it on our devices as well, so we copy the path of the one on our device. Paste it in the second field and press the button to start searching for it. So what this does is it searches the internet with the provided image we gave it to see if it can find a match. And there we go, we get a match found, and we get to see the exact link and the image of our leaked media, which matches with the one on our device. We have looked at searching by name, to multiple URLs, to not knowing any URLs at all, to matching our leaked media to the one on the internet. I hope this brings us closer to stop the insane and cruel act of people leaking private media. I am sure you all would want to use the website, and you can, it is available, but the backend functionalities are not live, and so it would not work as you see here. You see it costs to host these things, and I am just a channel under 100 subscribers with not enough financial muscle, and the free version will just make the website very buggy and useless. It will mean the world to me if you will hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. I am trying to gather funds to make it live, but as that is in its process, I still got you. Let me show you how can you use this on your machine and find your leaked media as well. So in order to get the full functionalities, just like the one you see on the website here, head over to my GitHub repository titled Find Leaks. Link is in the description below. Press on this code button and press download to zip here. It will be in a zip format, so just extract it and you will get a normal folder. Open your terminal and navigate to the folder path. Make sure you are in the exact folder path you downloaded or it will not work. Please hit me up in the comment section if you need help in any of these. To search for your leaked media just like the website did, just type pythontrackwords.py. This comes from how we have named it here. Press enter. And you will be asked to enter the URL. Press enter, and you will be asked for the search term. Press enter for it to do it work. And there we go. We get status of success and matches of Sharon be true, meaning a possible leaked media. We then try the image approach as well. We say Python search for all images as well. Press enter. Enter the URL. Enter the terms and watch the magic happen. And there we go. It fetches all the images for us like it did before. You can stop it by pressing Ctrl C on Windows or Command C on Mac OS. Let's try my favorite and the most advanced one. So we say Python compare images .py. We enter the URL. We enter the path of our leaked media on our device and watch the magic happens just like it did here. And there we go, we get match found and the URL. And when we copy and paste this on Google Chrome, we confirm that it is indeed our image on the internet. So I hope with this, you will have a powerful tool at your disposal to track leak medias. Now how to delete them. Even though we are able to search the internet and find our leaked media, it is not as straightforward to delete them. But these ways will start the procedure. Contact the website or platform. Reach out to them directly to request the removal of the content. They are violating a number of laws by posting a non-consensual content. Contact search engines. 
Major search engines have processes in place for handling requests related to the removal of sensitive or harmful content. File a DMCA takedown notice. You can file a DMCA takedown notice. This process involves informing the hosting provider that the content infringes on your copyright and they should take it down. Also review and strengthen the privacy settings on your social media accounts and other online platforms to minimize the risk of future leaks. I am working on a video where you get to control your photos and videos and corrupt them just in case they get leaked. I hope these helps. Please let me know what you think. And if you want more videos like this, your help is so valuable to me. And it will mean the world if you hit that subscribe button and like and share the video as well. Please reach out if you need help setting up and I will help you gladly. That is it for today. See you in the next video. Adios.